Hello everyone, my name is Drea. Welcome to my channel, his banner over me is love. Um, I don't normally do this, I don't share videos like that. Um, I'll upload like other videos that I, you know, download and then I'm able to upload onto YouTube, but it's never just my videos um, or my dreams or anything. I, I just, I never share them on here, but I do feel like the Lord kind of wants me to. I feel like he's been nudging me here and there to share and there's times where I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this and it just never happens. Um, so... I guess today must be the day. Um, I do want to share a dream with you. Um, I'm probably going to share quite a few. They're really exciting for me. Um, really encouraging. Um, The one I'm going to share today is when I asked the Lord back in 2017. I want to say it was July. I asked the Lord before I went to bed. I said, Lord, please put in, in my dream the number of the month for the rapture. You know, so if it was June, it would be the number six in my dream. July, the number seven, so on and so on. Um, so I did have a dream. I'm sorry, guys, if it's loud in the background. Maybe this isn't the best time to make the video. Um, but it is Memorial Day weekend, so there is a bit of noise out there. I do have a couple of my windows closed. So, But anyways, um, so my dream. My dream took place basically at... It was like a convenient slash gas station, a convenience store slash gas station. Um, and apparently they sold french fries there. There was a guy, and he was selling french fries. And um, there was this man, and to me, like, I don't even want to so much say he represented Jesus, but to me it was almost like it was him. I mean, I'm not saying that it look it that's what Jesus looks like, but I know that Jesus takes on many forms. But the way he stared at me and looked at me, it was very Jesus-like. I mean, it, it just seemed like it was a very stern look. Like you almost feel like I can't even describe it. It's, you would think that he was mad at you, but he really wasn't. Um, because it was like this stern yet loving look. And he pre-ordered two liters of french fries to pick up for another day. I mean, this was just made known to me in the dream. This is what was happening. He was pre-ordering two liters of french fries to pick up for another day. And then he paid the guy $80 and some change. And I do not remember what the change was. And he looked at me and he said, I love french fries more than anything else for a party. And then I, I looked at him and I said, I love french fries too. And I saw like a flash vision of french fries. And then I woke up. So I don't even think I remembered this dream right away. And then all of a sudden it was like, you know, like, oh my gosh, um, I did get a dream. And I think I might have been like, or unless I, it was so long ago, I might have even woken up and like scanned through my dream. But it wasn't right away, I don't think, when I woke up that I remembered it. And... The eight, the eight sticks out to me, um, because the eighty dollars, um, 
there's quite a bit of symbolism in this dream because the french fries i interpret that as their people the french fries are people and what do you cook french fries in you cook them in oil and if we are the french fries you know we need oil you know to be raptured we need enough oil to be raptured just like the french fries need oil to be cooked um and plus i think potatoes are like a like you harvest potatoes i'm pretty sure if that sounds correct but um and then you know he was or pre-ordering two liters so to me that's kind of like the you know i think of like the two witnesses i think of the two leaders of god's army um and then when he said he loved french fries more than anything else for a party to me he was saying i love french fries more than i love i'm sorry i love people more than anything else for the wedding supper of the lamb you know you know the, he loves people more than anything else for this like he he doesn't care about anything else like he doesn't so much care about the decorations he doesn't care about anything else but the people um so that's what i took from that um so to be honest i look to august since 2017 I've been looking to August because of the number eight. Um, I think later down the line, I would think like, well, maybe it could be October because Octo, you know, is eight. And then even recently it was like, oh, maybe February because of the number two in my dream. But that eight really stuck out to me, August. Um, even just eight being like an infin infinity symbol, um, you know. Um, not only that, I, I might as well share another dream that I asked for. I think it was the same summer. Um, If not, it was the next year, but I think it was around the same time that I asked for this dream. I asked the Lord to put the season of the rapture in my dream. So if it was spring, if it was summer, fall, winter, that was what my dream would take place as. You know, if it was, if the rapture happened in winter, my dream would be set in, in a winter place or you know, there'd be snow, and so on and so forth, so forth, um, so my dream, it, it I think the dream kind of, like, started off, like, looking at the sky, and it was really sunny, and then it kind of, like, panned down onto a cruise ship, and that night, I actually had asked for a confirmation about someone, I said, Lord, I'm not going to get into what I asked or needed a confirmation for, but I needed him to put someone in my dream. And on that cruise ship in my dream, that person was there. So it's so hard to deny this dream because it was like he gave me the dream that I asked for, you know, in, for the season, and it was a summer setting on a cruise ship, and then when I asked him to put a particular person in my dream, that person was there on the cruise ship, so it was like literally two dreams that I asked for, you know, a confirmation, and then what the season of the rapture is, so it, it's hard to deny that dream, because it's like, 
you know, we have vivid imaginations, but really, like, I'm just... I'm just gonna have two of the dreams that I asked for, like, in one. That's really... That's... It's a little far-fetched unless it's coming from the Lord. So, that's really hard to deny that dream. Um, so... I hope this is encouraging because, honestly, um, I, I look to the summer, um, and not only that, I've seen other people kind of be shown summer, a summer rapture, um, and also, you know, it's, it says in the Bible that, um, to learn this lesson from the fig tree as soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know summer is nigh. So also when you see all these things, you will know that he is near right at the door. So to me, that's basically saying like, summer's near, that means I'm near. Um... And I just feel like so much has been happening this spring. Um, that it's it's hard to not see a summer rapture. Um, so I am. I'm I'm going to. Ask the Lord and see if he wants me to share another dream that I had. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to look for confirmation on that one because it was another dream that I asked for, but it was so mind-blowing that I'm like, is this from the Lord? How can it not be? Because it's like it happened. I mean, my imagination isn't that great um but I am gonna ask for confirmation and if he does show me that I should share it I'm going to and um it is a bit mind-blowing um I had to really think about what this meant um, and it was basically me asking if the rapture was this year or next year. So 2022 or 2023. And what he put in my, like I basically told him, you know, put 2020, put the number 22 and the number 23. And you know, because the number 23 is so, like, significant to me. I just feel like there's been a lot of movies with the number 23 in it. Um, you know, obviously if you're familiar with Michael Jordan, Jumpman, Nike, the number 23, it's kind of, to me, almost symbolic of, like, a rapture, like, jumping in the air. Um, so it's, it's hard to, like, didn't, you know, 2023 does stick out to me. Although so much is happening right now, how can it not be this year? But what he put in my dream was pretty mind-blowing. Mind and I had to really... Because I almost just kind of like brushed it off. But then when I really thought about it, I think I have like two, two kind of theories of it. Because what he put in my dream, like, I had to make sense of it. Um, so, I will look for confirmation on that. Um, see if he wants me to share that. I almost actually did. I did make a video of it. But I honestly did feel like the Lord told me not to share it. That it was just wasn't the time. or, But... I'm not sure. So I'm I'm really just going to have to really get confirmation for that. And then I'm going to share probably like a few, I think I have like 
two more dreams I can possibly share. Um, we'll see. And hopefully I can start sharing more. Um, the Lord really communicates with me a lot. Like, it's it's pretty mind-blowing um, that he actually will communicate with me in, like, real time. Like, I can ask him something and just immediately I get an answer. And just, it, it's just amazing. So, hopefully I can start sharing more. And, um, yeah. So, let me get confirmation for this particular dream and if I do I will definitely share it because to me it's just it's it's mind-blowing um all right uh god bless you all and hope to be back on soon bye